Hi there, Perf Decaster here and welcome to my channel. I hope you're having a great day. As you all know, the live entertainment industry has pretty much come to a screeching halt ever since this whole pandemic thing started. And those of us in this industry have only started adapting to the current conditions. This weekend, my band Rock Stallion will be playing our first gig in five months. We'll be playing at the Rock Yard of the Fantasy Springs Casino in Indio, California. The Rock Yard is an outdoor venue, so there is enough space for social distancing. And of course, we'll be taking every precaution so that we get to play the gig safely. <laughs> Right now, I am preparing all the stuff that I'm going to need for the gig. So you can think of this video as a gear rundown or an inventory video of all the stuff that I bring to my live shows. Now, I'm not using the term rig rundown on purpose because that is exclusive to Premiere Guitar. Now, just for fun, how about we think of other alternatives to rig rundown? Put your suggestions in the comments section below and I will pick out the best one. Okay, so the amp that I will be using is my Victory V30 Mark II head right here. The Rock Yard is an outdoor venue, so I can get away with bringing this beautiful amp with me and turning it up to an enjoyable level. Here's the pure Victory V30 clean sound with nothing on it. Victory V30 Overdrive. Okay, now here's a closer look at the pedal board. Our friends at GC Rockboard and Walrus Audio have sent me this awesome set of pedals to demo. Now, one of the reasons why I still perform live, aside from the sheer fun of it, is so that I can take all this gear and run them through real world gig situations. That way I get to experience the gear not just in a controlled studio environment, but in live situations as well. But don't worry, I'll be working on a proper demo video of all the Walrus Audio pedals and you will be able to hear everything that these pedals are capable of. Okay, back to the board. The guitar input is handled by my Shure GLXD wireless system. It sounds good and is very reliable. Plus it already has a built-in tuner. And finally, being a digital system, I can pretty much use this anywhere in the world and not run into restrictions. Now let me show you guys one last thing. The cable dongle is built for me by our good friends at Tsunami Cables. Look at that. Now, just in case my Shure wireless fails for any unforeseen reason, I will have my custom Tsunami cable ready to go. Okay, now on to the pedals. Everything is by Walrus Audio, with the exception of my Dunlop Crybaby Mini right here. Now, from the wireless, the signal now goes into the Walrus Audio 385 overdrive pedal, which I have set to a fuzzed out setting. <laughs> It's very dynamic too. If I roll down my volume knob and pick lightly, I can get cleaner tones. From there, it goes into the Crybaby Mini, which is internally set to the M setting. Okay, now I'm gonna skip the wah because everybody knows what a wah sounds like. And I am sitting on the floor, so it's gonna be difficult. And then from there, it goes into the Walrus Audio Aegis Overdrive, which I will be using as a light overdrive. <laughs> as well 
as a lead gain boost. <laughs> And then it goes to the top row where I have my modulation section. Here is the monument tremolo. So right now I have it on the harmonic tremolo setting, which I feel is a more musical uh, tremolo variant than the regular volume oscillation. Another neat thing about this pedal is the tap button. So I can change the rate of the warbly effect. Okay, next up is the Lillian Phaser. And then into the Julia Chorus. Now this whole section right here will go into the front of the amp and I have it routed to go out of one of the pedal board outputs right there into this pedal loom cable and that goes into the Victory V30 input. Now from the effects send of the V30 it goes back into the loom into one of the other inputs here in the pedal board. And the signal now goes into this Deep Six compressor, which I will be using as a clean solo boost. That's why it is in the effects loop. The Deep Six works great as a clean solo boost because of the blend knob, which I've set so that the pedal mostly puts out the dry signal with the compressed signal just tucked underneath it. That way my guitar tone still responds to my playing dynamics, but with an added extra layer of squishiness to make things comfortable. <laughs> From the Deep Six, we now go into the Mako Echo Machine, which despite its diminutive size, is an awesome sounding echo and delay pedal with a lot of features. As it is without MIDI or any external controller, I am able to access three different delay presets on the fly just by pressing on these two buttons simultaneously. My red preset is a modulated delay with uh, not a lot of repeats. The green preset is a digital delay that is set to a dotted eighth. And finally, the blue preset is a reverse delay that I can use for like trippy sound effects. <laughs>
Now, last pedal in the chain is the slow reverb. Now, this pedal is capable of a lot of wild ambient sounds, but for this gig, I am using it as a straight ahead reverb pedal. That's why the X controls and the depth controls are turned all the way down. But who knows, at some point during the gig, I may start tweaking the knobs and have a little bit of fun with it. Now the output of the pedal is then routed again to one of the pedal board's outputs right here, going through the pedal loom and back into the return of the Victory V30. Now I'm using this foot switch instead of the stock Victory one because one, I can detach the cable and store it easily and two, this foot switch is very light, so less weight to carry. Now if you're interested in this foot switch, I will leave an Amazon affiliate link in the description box below. It works pretty much with any amp that uses a two button foot switch. Usually when I gig, I bring at least two guitars. One guitar has a whammy bar and the other guitar is a hardtail. For this Rockyard gig, I think I'm going to bring three guitars, two with whammy bars and one hardtail. That way, even if I break a string on a whammy bar guitar, I have another one that I could use. Now, this is a good candidate, my Sully Guitars Stardust from the Conspiracy series. Everybody loves the pink guitar. Or maybe I'll bring the Stardust Deluxe. For the whammy bar guitars, one of them will most likely be my 624T in Purple Sparkle just because this guitar looks badass on stage whenever the light hits it just right. And since I haven't gigged with it for a while now, I'll probably bring my Mike's PDC Custom right here. Now, as I'm packing up, I realized that I need to show you a few more things as well. Now, since I sing, I need to bring my own vocal mic because I can't trust the, <laughs> the cleanliness of provided microphones. This is an Encore 200 from Blue Microphones. And I love the way this mic sounds on my voice. I bring my own guitar mic as well. This is a Superlux, what's this? PRA628 Mark II. It's a little warmer sounding than the Sennheiser E609, which is why I like this one. And I have my own little guitar cab mic stand as well with the boom arm. Now this bento bag from Groove Gear carries my essential gig tools. Hex wrench, Phillips screwdriver, string winder, extra pack of strings, Kurt Mangan, my signature set of course, the Leatherman style multi-tool, a nail clipper. And for added safety in this virus ridden times, I'm bringing my own hand sanitizer. This is 80% alcohol antiseptic kills germs and bacteria on contact. And let's not forget our face covering, face mask. You can get this, oh, wait. If you want your own PDC face mask, check out the YouTube merch shelf right below this video, or go to the video description where I'll have a link handy to my Teespring store. Okay, these are the three bags that I need to bring. This houses all the cables and microphones and all that. This is the amp and this is the pedal board. Okay, time to head out to the gig. Hey everybody, this is Perf from the future. And unfortunately, I was not able to vlog during soundcheck and the gig because it was hot as f hotter than a fever. Anyway, here's a couple of gear shots and some scenes from soundcheck. And if I could get more drum vocals in the drum fill. Sound like check. Yeah, there you go. Okay, here's the view from my side of the stage. I'm going to keep the performance video clips short because the audio is distorted. <laughs> the rock was too much for my tiny little microphone. Plus, I don't want to run into any copyright issues. Like always, we appreciate so much you guys adhering to the protocol here at Fantasy Springs Resort Casino. Wear your masks. It protects everybody, including yourself. We appreciate it so very, very much. 
We're going to keep rocking you until midnight. This band is one of the hardest working bands around on that stage. Please welcome once again, Rock Stallion. Okay, there you have it. That is the first gig with the Walrus Audio pedal board and possibly my only gig vlog this 2020. If you're interested in any of the gear I used in this video and if you are ready for a new gear day, please consider buying them through my affiliate links in the video description. Buying from these affiliate links are of no extra cost to you and the commission that I get helps me keep making these videos for all of you to enjoy. As always, do all the good things that you beautiful people do. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. Give this video a thumbs up like, feel free to share it with your friends, and do subscribe if you haven't yet. Okay, that's it for now. Take real good care of yourselves, and I will see you in the next video. You know the drill. Practice makes perfecto.